to see. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta. Um. Uh, I gotta look into this. I gotta see who I'll come. You know, it's one of them situations where. <laughs> Previously with Peyton. Oh. This guy was ready to take my call, girl. When it been a few hours, but it's been like this. I love the volume that I get when I do the hair flip. Oh yes, yes. Definitely look better on your legs. One, two, three. Oh my God. What's up, y'all? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> How do men sit with their legs crossed? I, and you sitting up here telling me that that is comfortable. If I go like if I go like this, and I'm I'm scared. You got a lot of meat in a certain spot. Make sure you're all caught up on the vlogs, and let's jump into today's weekly vlog and see what we have going on. You are home to a community of trillions of microorganisms, including 38 trillion bacteria living in and on your body. The bacteria alone represent 50% of you by cell count. Is bacteria bad? That's the misconception of the century. Most bacteria are harmless, many are beneficial, and many of the ones that live in and on you are absolutely essential. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Peyton, why are you wearing a green sweatshirt with bacteria all over it? It's because our body is made up of bacteria. Yeah, 38 trillion, in fact. That's why I want to thank Seed for sponsoring today's video and sending over the DS01 Daily Symbiotic. So let me tell you more about the DS01 Daily Symbiotic because you need to hear this. The DS01 Daily Symbiotic Capsule is a two-in-one capsule that's great for your gastrointestinal but also whole health. From digestive health to gut barrier integrity, gut immune function, cardiovascular health, dermatological health, and micronutrient synthesis, this is going to be the perfect prebiotic and probiotic for your body in exactly what you need to have a healthy lifestyle. DSO-1 comprises 24 scientifically validated probiotic strains with a patented non-fermenting prebiotic. This breakthrough formulation is paired with innovations in probiotic stabilization and a precision release system to deliver strains to the lower small intestine to support systemic benefits including digestive, heart, skin, and gut health. So if you are like me and you need a probiotic and prebiotic, this is for you. It's going to help with gut. It's going to help with skin. It's going to help with um, heart health. All of those things to keep us healthy and allow our good bacteria in our body to thrive. So all you have to do is click the link in the description box, use my code Peyton, and you will get a percentage off your subscription. Thanks again to Seed for sponsoring today's video and sending me a refill package because I am so excited to see what this has in store for me. Thanks again to Seed for sponsoring today's video. Let's get healthy. It's not too late.
get our shit through other channels. We'll see. They're, they're ripping you off, I see. <laughs> Hey, 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 welcome back to another day in my life. So what are we doing today? Well, at 1230, I have lunch with, I have a surprise. I don't know why I'm saying I have a surprise when she's probably going to be, her picture probably going to be in a thumbnail. But I'm going to say I have a surprise because I'm, I might like really surprise y'all. Y'all might have to wait till we get to lunch to see it. But I'm getting ready to go to lunch with my girl. I ain't seen her in a while. So we're going to lunch. I'm going to take her to Scent Room because she's in town from Atlanta. <laughs> and then after that, we're going to go to that Oud Fragrance Boutique out in Richardson. I want to take her there. And we look around. And I hope that you can walk in and still make your own scent and fragrance. So I want to take her there and we do that. And then... I don't know we'll see where we'll see where the wind blows us um but yeah i need to find something to wear what are we thinking let me see how, how i feel outside and i do need to pop over to zara and exchange these shorts because zara is so boutique-ish they probably, if I, if I take them back to exchange, they probably not even going to have the shorts no more. So I probably need to just go and order them online because I know they'll still have them online. Order them online and then um take these back in the store. My thing is, maybe I could just like flip them. Why, why, why did they put these right here? Why did they do that? The, I can't. I wouldn't even be able to flip these over, and they don't sit good on my waist. They're just not gonna look good. They're just not. <clears throat> I kind of feel like I could. I should take this this dress back too, cause I tried it all, and it's really, really tight on my hips even though it's stretched it's really tight on my hips I feel like it's not gonna look right in the shoes that I bought it for totally two different color mauves so yeah okay we got some new skin potion y'all have been raving about that's the uh, garbage people I'm sorry y'all it be so loud. It's Friday. Y'all have been raving about cookie butter to the point where I'm like, right, I got a smell cookie butter. And he was like, I know you don't like gourmands. That's why I ne that's why I never sent it to you. You're not really a big fan of gourmands. But baby, the way the girls have been raving about cookie butter, especially AI the Great, she really loves cookie butter. So I'm like, Chai, let me get a whiff of this cookie butter, Chai. Okay, so this, oh, this is my Mother's Day gift. It says, Happy Mother's Day, Peyton. I'm so proud of you, and it makes me so happy to see you keep elevating. I hope you have an amazing time in secret. So I'm getting ready to go somewhere, but I ain't telling y'all about it just yet. Okay, what's this? One thing about it, baby, Ray gonna pack me some, pack, pack it up good. He's gonna pack it up really, really good. Okay, let me get all the stuff out. Oh, I think I smell it. Okay, so. Oh, it do smell like a cookie. So he sent me the cookie butter body scrub. It does smell like a cookie. Mmm. Mmm, that's delicious. That is delicious. It's very much a gourmand. Very vanilla, you know what I'm saying? Very much gourmand a cookie. Yeah, yeah, very much. What's this? Oh, and some more Kama Sutra. Hey! Y'all know how I feel about it. I 
that Kama Sutra and cookie butter will smell good layered together. And what is that? Oh, and he sent me the cookie butter body oil. Ooh. Y'all know his body oils be so potent. Baby, you don't need but one squirt. You can actually, to save it, you can actually um, mix it with another oil. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, that is good. It smells, it definitely smells like a cookie. It smells like a, what kind of cookie? Mmm. Like a, uh, damn, like a, like a butter cookie, I want to say. It smells like a butter cookie. It's good. It's good and strong. And then we got some from, how do you say that, Loewe? Loewe? Oh snap, oh snap. Oh, these are cute. These are nice. I like these a lot. I like these a lot. Thank you so much, Ray. Baby, I sent Rochelle them gummies. Rochelle said them gummies had her over there making up songs. See, that's why I sent her the low dosage. Because I'm a smoker. So, I feel like 750 milligrams might have been too much for her. Even though it's just CBD. But she said... She, Rochelle's so damn funny. I know that, I know that vlog gonna be funny as hell. Okay, and then Heaven sent us two new watches. Y'all know my cousin Heaven, she has a watch company. Um, and every, I want to say every season, she comes out with a new line of watches. So, let me just, let me just take it out of the packaging so y'all can see what the new line looks like. Mm, that cookie butter is really good, y'all. I feel like cookie butter will be perfect on vacation, but also it, it's even really great for fall. All right, so these are the two new watches that Heaven has released. As you can see, one comes in silver and gold. Um, it has the leather strap um, for the wrist. It's nice and heavy too, really good quality. And as you can see, it also has some bling. And Heaven's watches are very luxurious, um, yet affordable. Um, and that's what I like about her brand. Um, she strives to make pieces that are affordable, luxury, and minimal for the classy girl. Because we're all classy girls. Yeah. Oh, okay, play it on. Mm. Trying to think if I want to wear like a natural lip color or put an actual lip on today. I have another bag. This um this color is a Steve Mann bag, but I decided to wear this one instead because this bag can fit more stuff in it. This Steve Mann bag can't fit that much stuff in it. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a natural lip color, but gloss it out.
since we wearing this lime green, I feel like natural pink lips, glossy pink lips will be cute with this. All right, and look at that. I can fit everything in it that I can fit in this bag and this one. Okay, so this is the outfit for today. It's a casual look for lunch and catching up with my girl. Um, the bodysuit is from Zara. The pants are from Zara as well. I'm wearing my Dolce & Gabbana platforms in this coach bag and I just realized I didn't put on any dress. Yeah, look who's oh, back! <laughs> this peace sign will be the death of me. I cannot stop it. Um, yeah, I have a friend that lives out here, so. We here with Jamima, y'all. I'ma take a, so since you already went to the same room, and I know I'ma end up getting, did you wanna go back? Oh yeah, we did. you wanna go? I don't, I don't mind, I never mind. Okay, cause I, I figured you, you go there all the time, you're not gonna go back, so that's how we do it. We can go back. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I saw that there's like a, a lipstick mix bar right next, right next to door, it. Right next door, yeah. Have you done that? Uh-huh, me and Kyron done it a, uh, once, and then I did it another time with another girl. You wanna go? How was it? How it was, was cool. It? it was cool. I always end up making the same freaking, um, like I always end up making a nude. Uh -huh. I don't know why. So if we go, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to do a different color, maybe a gloss. I always do like a matte lipstick, but it's really cute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, this is so good. So this is the mocktail. We're at My Life. I want to say My Life Kitchen in West Village. It's right across from Sephora. When you come in here, ask for the mocktail. Comes with cucumber, mint, and mint leaves and mango, and it is heaven. Wow. I've been drinking a lot of mocktails lately. Yeah. All right, we are here in the scent room. A lot of new stuff. This is what I'm wearing today. I have this on. But I didn't even smell the other ones and I heard good things about the other ones as well. So how much are these? It's, Deborah keeps some good niche fragrances in here, so you can always find something that you can't find in department stores. Which I love like these. Like look at this bottle. I think it's just how you This has aromatic woody, fresh spicy citrus, green amber, herbal iris, Italian jasmine, and woody. Hey. Are you a PayPal? Hey girl. Give me a hug. I am definitely a PayPal. How you doing? I'm ready. Oh, he, he watches too. Oh, oh, that's so neat. Hey, you ain't here with your mom. You about, about, about to buy her something nice? How are you? I'm good. How you doing? I'm great. Good. Great. You want to be on camera and say hey to the say hey to the girls? I'm not good. I'm honey. Say hey to the girls. Hey guys, it's Lola. Hey. <laughs> All right, we are down to two. What I'm deciding on Imperial. This is freaking beautiful. Imperial wood. Look at that bottle. Mm, 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 mm. So it's tobacco, spices, thyme, saffron, cacao, cinnamon, cardamom, cloves, olibanum, oud, amber, leather, and incense. This is freaking beautiful. 
I love it. It kind of smell cherryish, but it's not a cherry note in it. But not not cherry like lot time for a lost cherry, but like a it's it's like a cherry perfume. And then the other one is Fan Your Flames. This has tobacco, coconut, rum, tonka bean, Chinese cedar, and oak moss. This is a little bit more unisex versus feminine. You definitely get the tobacco. It gives it that spice. Is cinnamon in here? Because I feel like I smell cinnamon. No, it's coconut and rum. I'm trying to decide. <laughs> baby, that baby done did some damage. Do you hear me? Send help. Send help. You want to walk this way? Or uh, me and Jamima just went in um, the mixed blend bar and the girl that was in there she had on the Fenty velvet liquid lipstick in MVP so does so we're now we're in Sephora and I have also picked up a couple of other things that the girls have been talking about like the one size beauty translucent powder as well as Beverly Hills cheek um, blusher all right, me and Miss Jamima, we are headed to Amir Oud now. Um, it's another perfume boutique um, out in Richardson. And I saw on Instagram that you can make your own fragrance here. So, yeah. I'm about to try to make this what's on my hand. I don't remember any of the notes in it though. So it's gonna be completely by smell because this what's on my hand is $650. But damn, it smells good as fuck. I want it, I want it so bad. I've never spent over, I'm gonna say I haven't spent over $475 for a perfume. $650 for that small bottle of perfume, that's a lot. That's a lot of money. It smells good as fuck. I ain't gonna lie. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily say it's worth uh, $650 though. But I have been smelling my hand the entire time since we left. So if that says anything, it's a Nishane's fragrance. And it's the one with the gold around the bottle. Uh, but I can't remember which one. I want to say it was Nishane. Uh, I don't understand what's going on with their names. They used to have like easy names, but now it's it's like the names are in like a different language. So I can't tell you which one I got on because uh, they don't they in this new language now, honey. So I don't know. My tan is finally fading, and I feel like I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I want another tan. Tans age you so bad. My hands been looking so old ever since I came back from uh vacation. Uh oh, damn! I'm not been talking too much. I gotta turn around. We don't pass it. Hey, Jamima. Hey, Jamima. I already know it's about to smell so good in here. Hello. Oh, good. How are you? Good. First time here. Yeah. So excited. It's beautiful in here. Thank you very much. Chia butter and perfect. Oh. Mm -hmm. Are you familiar with food or not? I'm very light. I have a mix of different notes. I have a mix of vanilla, amber, some florals, projection, and longevity. If not, we're going to find something within what you're looking for, basically. And this is called Dali. This one has vanilla, geranium, and there's boot. Mm-hmm, that's pretty. 
Yeah, I think it was I think it was Nev's. It could have been Mana though. Let me look at Mana. And when we if we wanted to make our own, we could just use like these different little oils here or Yes, so you can so you can see if two sets that buy together. You can try them together. You can mix up to five perfumes together to create your own smell. Okay. But usually every every perfume is kinda of well established by itself. Mm -hmm. Unless if you find the need to mix with something that for your own preference. Mm -hmm. Look what I found. Well, what, what kind of perfume do you usually go for? What like is, tobacco vanilla. Yeah, what, what is the kind of notes that you go for? I like saffron, uh, I like cardamom, patchouli, vanilla, amber, ambergris, lavender. Do you like oud? Mm -hmm, I like oats. Do you like it like strong or do you like it kind of more? I like, like my I like my oats to be more of a base note instead of a top note. Okay, sure. Okay. Maybe I could introduce to you a perfume inspired by a Louis Vuitton on Grey Noma. Have you ever smelled that perfume before? Mm -mm. Okay. I, I think my favorite Louis Vuitton scent is a uh, Lamentite. Oh, that was actually we're working on that one, so we want to bring that one. Too. Yeah. Yes, it's really nice. The ginger mm -hmm. note. Mm -hmm. But this one. Um, has raspberry oud. Is I think the strongest perfume we would smell over here. Smell this one. Yeah, I definitely think it's nails. It's kind of rosy type of oud, but yeah. it's strong. Yeah, this is rosy. Yeah. That's crazy, cause this kind of smell like. Mula, what is it? Was it Mula Mula? Mula Mula. This kind of smell. I forgot what it smelled like. Over here. For real? <laughs> she said she forgot what it smelled like. This is good. Oh, I'm glad you like it because this is an extremely acquired taste. Yeah. <laughs> this is like a very rare thing that you can find in this kind of smell. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, this is an extremely no, no, I'm sorry, I'm not that attacked about this. It's the first time I've been with you. I do believe this perfume is extremely special. And uh, and the Middle East, that's what we go for. That's actually my, my favorite scent over here. It's you very, like very, Initio? I like Initio. Initio is really nice. But which one? Which Initio? Which for greatness? Oh, for greatness. I love me some Oh for greatness. It's good, but I do believe like, I feel like it's a little bit sweeter to my own taste. Mm -hmm. But it smells good for sure. Well, let me, you haven't smelled any perfume from uh, Parfum de Mali? Uh, yes. So um, this one is inspired by the Lina exclusive. It has wood, but it's kind of more musky, rosy wood. Mm -hmm. I actually think I like this better than... Better than wood. Let me see. Can you put this one, this one that I like to the side? I really yeah, like this sure. one. Well, you know that. Okay, okay. So if I wanted to make that a little sweeter. But I don't, I don't make it smell that Elysium. Okay. Uh, we have this one is inspired by Elysium Roja. It's kind of a little bit sweeter than the Delina. Okay. But the Delina, when it dries down, it turns sweet. This is good. Do you have any skin potion? No. Okay, remind me to, after we leave here, we're gonna go by my house and I'm gonna get you one of the body oils. Cause he 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 sent me so much, I I can give you one, and it smells just like this. Oh, if you like really? Delina exclusive, mm -hmm. you will love it. And it is potent, girl. I love when somebody just indulges mm -hmm. and supports my spending all my money on things. <laughs> like yes, encourage me. Yes. <laughs> How is Elysium? That's the best good. compliment. Ain't it? That's the best it really compliment. It is. Oh, this good. What is this? Right? This is inspired by Elysium. Uh, Roja. Roja Elysium. It's kind of, kind of similar with it, Wood of Greatness, but this is a little bit more musky and rosy. Wow. And I feel like I smell all the Roja stuff, so yeah. <laughs> these are smelling yeah. better than the Roja. Yeah, that's actually what we do over here. So we, we see what perfumes are lacking, and we kind of reinterpret okay. the perfume. That's what we do. This is good. This is the Dislina exclusive mm -hmm. meal. This is good too. I really like that one. It's it's kind of fruity, but like in a unisex way. So mm -hmm. like not like giving you a headache. Mm -hmm. Ooh, not touch me. 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 Touch
can't caress me. Oh, Beyonce. <laughs> Good. Ooh, Sultana. Yes, Sultana means uh, it's like kind of female emperor. Then lunch with Ud because Ud. Are you guys familiar how Ud actually comes by or no? No. no. So yes, yeah, so Ud usually comes when a tree gets struck by a lightning and it gets opened up. Then parasites come to that tree and infect it. And as a way of a tree to defend itself, it releases a, type, a certain type of syrup. And that syrup is Ud. That is a very specific way. Yes, and that's why oud in terms of ounces is more expensive than gold. Yeah. And also is the strongest note you could have in perfumery. And it's been there for last, I mean, more than 10,000 years. So if a tree is never struck again, that's the end of oud? That's a problem. It's so very rare to find you know, trees that get struck by like, well, lightning or sometimes get infected by itself. Uh -huh. That's why the, it's very rare. That's, that's what drives up the price. It's like diamonds. Interesting. Yeah. And uh, I, I'm gonna make you smell the heavy wood that we have. Wood by itself. I like that. Yeah, it's this is Cambodian, which is, I think, just maybe one kilo of these costs maybe more than 20 grand. 30 wow. grand. Yes, it's very, very expensive. Now, one kilo of wood? One kilo of wood. Cost it costs up from 30 to 500,000 dollars. Ooh, cost more than cocaine. Yes. <laughs> more than cocaine, yeah. This is strong, strong. It's super strong. Yeah, this is kind of with, and this is usual people like even in ancient times, the chiefs of the tribes used to put it on. When they walk in, everybody knows that's mm -hmm. a chief. Or well, that's the king, or that's the emperor. So it's always associated with royalty, with higher class, because mm -hmm. it's not accessible to anyone. That's uh, the basic thing, what our store means. Uh, uh, Mir Ud means the prince Ud. Oh. Mm. Yes. Where are you from? Originally, we we're from uh, Saudi Arabia, Palestine, mm. Saudi Arabia. Mm. Yes. Thank you. I have kidnapped your girl. <laughs> Are you enjoying yourself? Absolutely. Oh, be careful. Oh, the Bentley coming out the main. Yeah, I done kidnapped Jamima, y'all. So now we're going to St. Rocco's. This is a New York Italian restaurant. I have never been, but seen a lot of good things on Instagram Reels and um, TikTok. It's supposed to have like a really nice rooftop as well. So the food smells good already. It's a little chilly. I don't know if, if Jay gonna want to sit outside. I want the chicken parmesan. Oh, hello. The roasted chicken. Excuse me. There's no alcohol in this? Yeah, there's no. It's no alcohol, right? Wow. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes, I'm It tastes like liquor. It tastes like there's some liquor taste in it. <laughs> you gotta get down in there. Get down in there. That tastes like a, a margarita. It's the, it like it's the hibiscus yeah, it's Italian soda? Yeah. yeah. Wow. It tastes like, 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 like margarita mix. It definitely tastes like alcohol. I sent the Italian soda. I was gonna check for them. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, go 
smoked chicken on that, my boy. So it was actually alcohol in it. Now what if I was an alcoholic, baby? I would have broke my sobriety. I'm here to my things like margarita mix. Hot sauce? Hot sauce. We don't have, let me take you, we have something back here. Okay. Anything spicy is fine. Mm -hmm. I'll take some jalapenos or something. I'm just making sure Jamima get Always make sure your people get in get in the house while they're going. Look at this fold. Look at this fold. Always make sure your people get inside, get in the house before you drive off, cause you never know anything can happen. People crazy. But today was such a good day. OMG, we had like a full perfume haul day perfume shopping day i didn't even, i didn't even plan on getting anything but whenever i go to the same room they always make sure they take care of you girl so i'll show y'all what i got when we get back to the house um and i'm gonna open a couple of my other packages that i got like some pr and stuff like that but today was so good if y'all are ever in dallas y'all have to go by amir oud and i know y'all have been asking for me to come out with my own fragrance so that may be on the way because amir oud manufactures fragrances i mean from picking a bottle to doing everything that i need they do it right there for me so might be coming out with a fragrance soon i know y'all been waiting and wanting it so might be might be going ahead and getting that done because it's definitely something that I'm passionate about. Um, being told I smell good is one of my favorite compliments. Um, so I definitely feel like I need to have my own scent. And uh, now that I know it's somewhere local that I can go do it, they, they'll do everything for me. Um, I can pick my bottle. I can pick the font. I can pick the scent. Um, they do white labeling. All of that knowing that it's right here local for me to do it i mean it's no excuse for me to do it now this is something that i thought i would have to do and wait till i go to italy or something like that you know what i'm saying but it's right here it's right here be right here no fear you don't need to have no no fear. Don't. Oh, damn. Oh, y'all. I need to go get my nails done tomorrow because I got a date. And baby, these these need a feel. I can't go on a date with needing a feel. Y'all, yeah, be careful buying these Ulanzi. These Ulanzi um, tripods. The MT16. Is this the? I think this one here. Yeah, yeah. Be careful buying these because when you pull them out, right? I don't know. Maybe I need to be more careful when I'm like pulling mine out. This part right here, after you put your you mount your camera on top, like as it gets old and worn, this part right here just starts sliding back down. So it's never fully extended after like wear and tear. So just be careful buying these cause like they're starting to increase the price on these. These used to be like, I want to say $12, but now it's 22. Inflation is so real. They have increased this freaking tripod, $10. I'm not complaining about it. I'm complaining about the quality of the product. This little piece right here, 
it gets worn out from like being fully extended. So when you mount your camera on, you sit in your camera, you will notice that your camera just starts sliding down. I'm like, oh my God, this is the fourth tripod that I have bought off Amazon because of that reason. I've had three tripods to do that. The only one that didn't do it was the one that I took to Dubai with me, which I should have kept. Um, It got in the sand, it got wet. That one, that one lasted to the test of time, but I sold it because I, it had sand in it. And I shouldn't have because that one was the real MVP. But yeah, I just did a little Amazon haul about this. And while they had like a little bundle that you can get. So it came with um, a remote so I can take pictures because a lot of times I take pictures I'm not gonna lie, I take my pictures by video recording, like me posing, and then when I get on my computer, I screenshot it, but it comes with a little cell phone thing too, so you can actually like take pictures from your cell phone, which I wanna start doing because I'm not gonna lie, um, my camera on my phone takes really, really, really good pictures with the front, with the front face camera, not the selfie camera, the front face camera, so. I want to start like practicing with it. The only thing is the reason why I don't is because I can't see myself. You know what I'm saying? I can see myself when I'm posing and um, cause people say I'm photogenic. I, I don't feel like I'm that photogenic child. When I go back and I'm looking at pictures, I'd be like, why is my face like that? Why am I not smiling? Baby, you ain't got it no more. You're not a model. Smile. Give it up. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> okay, and then I picked up this hair oil off of Amazon. I've heard great things about this, um, promoting hair growth and um, scalp health. So this is uh, Dabur Amla Hair Oil, combines the goodness of Amla fruit, which is Indian gooseberry, with a blend of vegetable and mineral oils to maintain long, healthy looking hair. And it says to oil your scalp with this, ideally for one hour, and then shampoo it out. Um, it's, this says it's been used in hair, used on beautiful hair. It's been the hair secret in India and around the world for over 50 years. And then I also heard great things about this. I do not know how to pronounce that. I'm not even going to try because I know if I mispronounce it, y'all going to be putting the, how to pronounce it in the comments. We're not going to do it. We're not going to do it. We're not even going to try, baby. Look, take a picture. Get you some. This oil has properties that help in stimulating hair growth and take care of the scalp conditions. It is known to cope up with various scalp conditions and dull hair. Let's see. Oh, this is this says it's a hair oil, but it don't really look like a hair oil, but you can use this, you can add this to your oils. So I'm gonna make me a hair oil, and it says you can add this in it, and you can also add it in your shampoos, conditioners, and stuff like that. So, I got that. But let me show y'all my little haul of my perfume yesterday. I did a little perfume haul. We, me and uh, Jamima went perfume shopping, and oh, we tow up the city, okay? So, I ended up getting Imperial Wood. This is by... Pana Dora, and it's I guess it's made in Sweden. So this is um, I've been seeing this perfume a while, and I thought that the bottle was so exquisite. Um, it has what looks to be a reindeer, but like the top of the perfume bottle is like a reindeer, um, and I thought that, that was so interesting. And I met a PayPal yesterday, right? And we were in there talking for um a, i want to say a good 20 minutes hey lola girl she work at perfume de marley in nordstrom's go see her baby she is very knowledgeable about combos perfume um i love her i'm like sis you need to start a youtube channel reviewing perfume okay so go and see her um over at perfume de marley perfume de marley has a lot of new scents too but she picked this one up and she was like paid and smell this and i fell in love with it it doesn't have a cherry note in it, but it smells like cherry. And I'm not talking like Tom Ford lost cherry. It do put you in the mind of it. But it's just like a beautiful feminine cherry. And I'm like, what's tea? What is going on, honey? Am I getting into this? 
where I want to wear like more feminine scents because I bought it. And then um, I also picked up the Nashane's Hasivat body oil. This is hair and body oil. Okay, so Ray was actually telling me about this. I didn't even know they had it, but I love it so much. And he was like, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it for you. I'm gonna send it." But once, once he told me that they had a body oil bag, I wanted it immediately. I couldn't even wait for him to send it to me. So, um, yeah, that's that. And then we went and made perfumes as well. So, mmm, that smells good. So we went over to Amir Oud. Um, and I was telling y'all last night, they actually also white label and manufacture. Um, so, you know, if y'all in the business and wanna, you know, make y'all own special perfume, you can do it right here locally if that's what you wanna do, honey. I highly recommend, I highly recommend, and they're so like knowledgeable and, and friendly. So this is my bottle. And so what I did was um, they have perfume oils that smell and are, you know, inspired by um, different popular scents. So what I did, because I'm always mixing Baccarat with something to make it smell different, I mixed Baccarat with Ombre Nomad, Louis Vuitton's Ombre Nomad. And y'all, <laughs> let me tell you something. <laughs> Baby, I know what I'm doing. This smells amazing. This smells amazing. And it's a perfume oil. So, like, it's going to last. Last night, I sprayed it on my hand. Well, yesterday, I sprayed it on my hand. It stayed on my hand until I took a shower. And then I also picked up some of their um, oils. So, they have, like, their own, like, you know, specific scents to the store. And so I picked up some of their oils. And look look how much oil you get. It's a, like a little vial of it. I think it's like three milliliters. That's it. So one of the oils I got was Oud Woods, I think. What is it called? Oh, it ain't, ain't got the name on it. Oud Roots. So this is Oud Roots. This smells so doggone good. This is this is just a body oil, you know what I'm saying? I will put it in my on like on my post points before I spray a perfume over it. You don't get much. This would be my whole body if I tried to put it on my body. So yeah, post points to make it last forever. So this is a body oil. But like I said, you don't get much. You get three milliliters, so you can't put it on your body. Unless you dilute it with something else which you you totally could like i could put like maybe two drops and mix it with like a, a another body oil like a, a baby oil or something like that um because it's very very strong and potent it's good this was 39 dollars very 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 uh high for three milliliters of oil but oud is so expensive so I get why it's so high. And then this one, this one is called Red African and it's so sweet. It has like caramel notes. Um, and I thought that this would be really, really pretty. Look how dark it is. This remind me of Love Potion number no. nine. Y'all remember that movie? This remind me of Love Potion number no. nine. But yeah, that's what I got yesterday. I spent a cute coin. But not that much because their fragrances, even like when you make your own bottle and uh, make your own scents, it's super inexpensive. It's like $48. Now this is, for what I made with this, I think that would have been, Baccarat is like $375 and Louis Vuitton, he said that's Ombre Nomad is the most expensive Louis Vuitton fragrance. So right here, like $900, $900 for $48. Yeah, good. Me some more raw cones. And then I got this um, camera light. I don't know what I did with mine, but this one is supposed to be. Baby, this is heavy. This is heavy. I am not going to. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I mean, I could put it on this on the side, right? 
and it's supposed to have like dimming capabilities as well as like you can control what kind of light you have. So I got that because me and Karen getting ready to go to Six Flags and um, it's gonna be at nighttime. Her grad night is like at 11 at night and I do still wanna be able to get like a little footage, um, but it's gonna be at nighttime. So that's why I got this light so I can get like a little footage of us walking around Six Flags. It won't be much child, cause um, I was just informed by one of the PayPal's who live in Chicago that it's gonna be a whole bunch of freaking high schools. I am so scared of it. I don't know why, but like when she said that, I got all kind of anxiety. I was like, wait a minute, uh-uh. I thought it was just gonna be her school. Why it gotta be all them different schools, baby? I hope they have metal detectors, cause I'm a little scared. And I'm and, and and I'm a gangster, but I'm a little scared of that. That's too many. Uh uh. That's too many kids. All of the Chicago high schools having grad night. To see, I got I got I got to um, I got to look into this. I got to see who I'll come. And you know, it's one of them situations where, <laughs> girl, it's one of them situations where you get invited to something, you be like, um, uh, before you answer, um, who I'll gonna be there? Cause I was so excited about going, and now that I know that it's gonna be like a whole bunch of different high schools in Chicago, baby, I really don't want to go. Like I feel like me and Kevin might need to sit this one out, but I done already paid three hundred dollars, so we're gonna we're gonna give it a whirl. We might end up staying thirty minutes, child, cause. Like <sighs>